Guys, we're tackling these topics because we think that the, they should be tackled. <laughs> wow. What's up, guys? How you doing? I'm Paul. I'm Morgan. And this is... The Paul and Morgan, Paul and Morgan Show. Today's video has to do with a little something called... What is it? What is success? <laughs> yeah. So what is success? <laughs> Money. For real, though. Fancy cars, diamond rings, fancy things. Nice clothes, a big home. So, guys. What is success? That is what I have been asking myself for the past month or so. And I kind of was having a conversation with God saying, okay, God, well, you know, for the longest time in my life, I have thought that success for me is um, having a music career because that's what I love and I want to be successful in something that I love. Having a good marriage, eventually having lots of money, for nice things and a nice house and just like, yeah, nice items and whatnot. And God was like, er. <laughs> Whoa, like he spoke that to you, God spoke that to you recently, right? Yes. So you married me with these ideas of success and I wouldn't say they were bad ideas, mm -hmm. but some things were changing. Just like Paul said, not that those things are wrong. Um, I don't think that they're wrong, but for, me, God just gently said, Morgan, that's not what I am looking for in your life. You know, when you die and you come home to me, none of those things you're going to take with you. You know, none of the items, the worldly items and possessions you're going to bring with you to heaven. Um, it's going to be your hard work and your dedication to your husband. <coughs> Cry, your dedication to your husband, your uh, when I have kids being a godly mother and role model for them and touching people with Christ's love. That's the, those are the things I'm going to carry to heaven with me. Here's the thing. God also was just kind of revealing to me like, I don't want to take away your music. It's not what he was saying. Um, but he wants me to pursue my music in a different way. She heard the Lord. She felt the Lord moving in her heart and so that's the direction we're gonna go until the Lord says something else yes so guys that's success for my kind of like me my mind transforming into what success is your brilliant mind yes my brilliant giant brain brilliant. <laughs> what do you all think is success my challenge to you guys is to stop looking at what the world is telling you success is and start looking at what God is telling you success is um, God Good. loves, God puts those things that you love in your heart for a reason. He's not, he's not this like dictator that wants you to do like, bleh, 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 but you need to let him direct you. I knew I liked being around kids, working with them, inspiring them, but I could just be like, oh, whatever. I'll just ignore that and maybe whatever it'll, I'll, I'll get to hang around kids. But rather than doing that, I was like, how can I pursue this? Cause I feel like the Lord is in this. I started writing a children's book. I want to get it published. I started this YouTube channel to relate to young people. I'm taking steps towards what passions God's put in my heart. And again, for success, I was thinking I need to start a writing career and I'll be a successful children's author. But the Lord's taken me out of that at least temporarily to pursue some other things as well. Not to say he won't bring that back and I'm still writing my book and I'm still pursuing it, but I'm open, more open, more eager to hear the Lord's voice for what he wants me to do and what success is rather than take something and try to do it completely on my own. God likes you to explore your passions and sometimes one of your passions might not end up being what he wants to really like take you down a successful path with. It, it might have just been like, hey, I want you to know that you have this talent, hmm. you have this passion, but this other passion of yours, this is where I want to take you. Don't be discouraged if everything in your life is falling apart because that is the moment when God wants to swoop in and pick the pieces up and put them back together and show you a completely different puzzle than what it was before. You know I gotta do it. You with the size, don't be discouraged. Okay. Wow. Guys, you know our path. 
passions, comment below and let us know what your passions are and let us know if we can help you brainstorm to figure out maybe what God is trying to use those passions for. Dude, so good. Guys, give this video a thumbs up. Help us get the word out about stuff. We will catch you guys on the flip side.